So ultra lightweight gaming mice have exploded onto the market. From the final mouse to the glorious Model O, these mice have spurred a whole new peripheral enthusiast market. Recently, we took a look at Razer's response to this changing landscape with their well-received Viper Ambidextrous Gaming Mouse. Today, it's Cooler Master's turn. Introducing the Cooler Master MM710, or MM710. I guess you can say it however you want to. Now, this is an aggressive little mouse that Cooler Master thinks may sway you in their direction for those who are in search of the holy grail of gaming mice. The funny story here is that there's not a whole lot to really talk about when it comes to the mouse itself. It's almost skeletal in nature, and that's part of its allure. The mouse comes in at a rather small 117 millimeters long, 63 millimeters wide, and 38 millimeters tall, and while they claim it's for claw, palm, or fingertip grip, you'll likely find yourself in either claw or fingertip grips unless you have abnormally small hands. The cable is 1.8 meters long and features their ultra weave cable that is as close to paracord and lightweight and flexibility as I think you can get, and I actually prefer it over Razer's Speedflex cable design they used on the Viper. Switches on the left and right mouse buttons are supplied by Omron 20 million click rated switches and have a really nice sound signature and a near instant actuation point and have very little movement from side to side. The scroll wheel feels solid and not loose at all with a very distinct stepping while scrolling and a resounding thud when dropped down for that center mouse click. The side buttons have differing sound signatures that help distinguish them from one another audibly and are really responsive, but they do have a mushy feeling once activated, leaving them feeling subpar to the rest of the mouse's quality. In the bottom of the mouse is centered the PixArt PMW3389 sensor that features up to 16,000 DPI, but comes with a default of 1200. This can easily be adjusted on the fly using the DPI selection button on the top of the mouse, between the left and the right buttons. The low friction 95% PTFE feet aren't the smoothest I've ever felt, but they still help retain some control over a mouse this light. Now let's talk about the body itself made up of ABS plastic and in either white design or black design with once again either matte or a glossy finish. The shell is the star of the show, not just because it looked like Cooler Master loaded a shotgun with buckshot that shoots pellets surprisingly shaped like the company logo, but it's also because it's a crazy low 53 grams on the scales. The combination of rigid ABS plastic along with the weight controlled holes They've achieved both a sturdy as any other mouse that practically levitates from being so light. And if you've worried about the dust and debris buildup like I was, don't worry, they've sealed the components well enough. I mean, I was even able to rinse it out in the sink after my kid got Cheez-It dust all in it. Thanks, kid. Although I wouldn't recommend the dishwasher since they're pretty adamant that this isn't, in fact, waterproof. So how is it actually using the MM710 or 710, 710? You ask. Well, simply a dream. I originally sighed when I got the mouse thinking that it was a gimmick and who doesn't have the forearm strength to move something like a Logitech G502 with all the weights in it, but I'm sitting here eating my words. Did it make me a better gamer? <laughs> no, not even hardly. I still suck most of the time, but it did, however, make me feel more comfortable after longer gaming sessions, and it surprised me in the most unexpected ways. See, I became more accurate in moving data through spreadsheets, selecting what I was aiming for in forms, and especially when editing, so moving along the timeline was super simple. And after hours of work, I could just keep going. So yeah, that was nice. And keeping the fact that this mouse is RGB and BS free really means that it'll fit and work, home and play, and with a price tag of $49.99. It's pretty much a no-brainer for those wanting to do an excellent performing gaming mouse or for those really wanting to check out the ultra lightweight scene without dropping a hundred dollars or more and waiting months for something to ship. Cooler Master has delivered a knockout here, but I would have loved to see some contrast in the colors. I don't know, something maybe neon. Either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Let us know what you think about these type of gaming mice and is this something you're interested in? Love to hear your thoughts down in the section below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.